Here's an event. Our war contract expired. Congratulations, you've fulfilled your contract with Valkyr. This is the details of the contract. Go ahead and take a look. Complete! What happened exactly? So one war happened. Uh, 99% territory bonus, no time bonus. Now that we're not bound to contract, uh, we can go where we please. Which nation will we sign with next? Consider carefully, Captain. Or not very carefully. Both are technically options. I didn't really see a, a reward. Did I even get money for that? Can I view that at the party menu? I don't see our money here. Yeah, 1004 G. I don't think it went up. Or at least, uh, going to the screen about the expired contract didn't lead to any change in money. I probably just didn't actually take part in a war correctly. <laughs> Check policy. We have 30 points. Oh. I can assign points to the bottom and top ones now. Because we've now fought two armament battles and performed 30 uh, combos in battle. So, can so this will increase the experience we get from stuff. This will increase our gold reward and this will increase our honor. Let's go for some experience. Oh, there we go. So now it's gone. Now I need to go walk 80 steps on a map if I want to put a point into one, which won't be happening. So let's do the fight to armament battle thing. Now I need to fight two battles within range of armaments to gain access to the next one. Interesting. Okay. Do I only get... Th the question now is... Do I only get... Do I only get 30 points ever? I'm not really sure. They're not really going up. But they might just go up from other things over time. Let's try three wars this time. Let's just make the Valkyr really like us and see how that works out. Godwin, this is... Uh, this is the start of a battle I'll never tire of fighting. Come to the battlefield. We'll see how it pans out. We will see how that pans out. Still experimenting with mechanics we're relatively new to seeing. They've suggested before to go to the capital, so let's try that. I don't think I've checked that out yet. We'll try the Valkyr capital. I have a good relationship with them. Are there benefits around here? Look at this place. Almost looks like the Torin uh, hometown from World of Warcraft. Something is going on at the plaza. New information might have come in. Let's go check out later. Captain, it seems the national shop has new inventory now. Why don't we see what the products they have? Oh, a lot of stuff going on here. All right, uh, you can get information at the plaza. You can report mercenary activities to the leader in the castle. Vote using the network of develop. Vote using the network or develop armaments and equipment at the barracks. That's vague. We can vote there. On what? I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll check it out personally because not much information given here. The market can be used to buy exclusive items, or en or enhance weapons or make them. You can see the status of, uh, of a nation from the capital. So there's new stuff at the plaza. Interesting. This is all new for us. This place is currently in a ceasefire. Let's try the plaza. The plaza's at Riverfoot, an open area where people go, uh, come and go. You can learn the state of affairs and nation rumors here. There are people gathered at the plaza. It'd be good if we could gather information. You can collect information from the citizens of the plaza. There are various people here. Some preach the nation's virtues. Some praise a hero, and some will trade you items. People at the plaza will, uh, will change depending on the time. You may even rece receive rare items. Stop by and test your luck. There's a passerby warrior, a chatty warrior, and a bard. I don't see any reason not to just, just to click on all of them. I've heard of you all. So you've decided to fight with Val for Valkyr. You should, uh, you should wield that strength and bravery on the battlefield. I look forward to the day when I can fight alongside you in battle. Okay, chatty. From Magion's founding till the present day, our two nations have never stopped fighting. That's because we are polar opposites in every aspect of life. Perhaps this is our fate. Bard? Spreading fire across the land consumed by thrill of the fight. A sing of legionnaires led by none other than the Kriz. I, th I thought there was going to be a rhyme there. Nope. 
From distant lands they come, their souls shining by with warrior's light. Oh, that's rhyme. That's rhyming. Our comrades in arms, legionnaires, uh, led by the fearsome Kriz. Who are the legionnaires? Who's Kriz? Those are not my names. I could have named myself legionnaires, but I changed to handyman. So are they talking to some about somebody else? I suppose. Report your status to the king. Why not? Head to keep. So, it's you, Lord. First, report your military gains to me. Well, that's a new one. You can check your battle records at the castle. Also, you may receive a handsome reward for the leader. So we actually get to meet him head, head on. Yay! We've done nothing. We failed a quest. Check that out. Aren't you psyched? Whoa, who's it? Whose stats are this? They have two successes, one fail? Graham Bengard. Many fine treasures can be found throughout the realm. Gathering them could prove useful. So that's all you have to say. Go to the battlefield and earn more military gains. Never forget the joy battle brings us. That is not the voice I th thought that face was going to make. Barracks. Uh, barracks where war planning is conducted. You can propose invasion points or treaties here. Handymen, warriors who share our passion. I've been waiting for you to visit. Could you share with us your thoughts on how we should be roaming this battlefield? The barracks is where all mercenaries contracted with the same nation cooperate on war decisions and prepare for the next fight. You can vote on invasion sites and treaties. Invest by investing your resources, you can enhance the quality of items you will find at the national shop. The result of vote and invest will affect the next battle. Fight together to make the kingdom lively. So this is the internet part. We can't go to the barracks. Apparently we haven't done enough combat, so I can't do any of these things. Alright. The market. There's a national shop of blacksmith at a trading post. Okay. National shop. State-run shop sells national products. If you're a Valkyrian warrior, you'll inevitably have to prove your strength. I've gathered the necessary combat items. Go ahead and take a look. National shop is only available to contracted mercenaries. The products differ depending on equipment research. To purchase from it, you need royals. Also, every product has a limited stock. Mercenaries that are not contracted in the previous war may experience extreme shortage of goods. Okay. I have just under 1,000 royals. So, stuff like this, the balance of destiny. I'm gonna need a lot. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need 10 times what I have right now. The magical skill that helps control mercenary policies. Use it to reassign all of your policy points however you like. Oh, it's a respec item. So you, there, you might be limited to 30 after all. You can, you can buy different items here that seem to be rather sufficient upgrades, honestly. For, for example, this old decanter would give my... It would give... I think that's my healer? Is that my healer? But whoever they are, it would give them 31 more attack and 8 more defense, which seems like a whole lot. Oh, wow. The Cup of Destruction is also much more powerful. Don't have the Royals for anything else besides Hard Arrow and Old Decanter. And I don't have an Archer right now. So it's not going to suffice otherwise. But seriously, that's a lot of damage. That could be really effective. So Field Resource. Also stuff I'm not even close to being able to afford right now. Crystals. Combine the stone with a weapon to release its hidden powers. 5% ranged power, 20%... Uh, oh, 20% faster mastery with uh, spellcasting. And 3 stamina increase? Alright. Why is it called Pyroxene, by the way? That's just... That's, I think that's just a very specific mineral name. Look at this one. Charming Flower. So it's a hair item you can put on your characters. It looks like it would, uh... I believe it would decrease our defense. But increase everything else. I think reds are increases. Kind of wish there was a plus sign or an arrow to help us out a little bit. It seems like this decanter would be worthwhile, so I think I'm going to grab one of those just to give that a shot. feel like we're walking out of here with something would be nice. What's the blacksmith have for us? 
We blacksmiths put our souls into the steel we bring to battle. Bring me your armor. We'll make it into something worthy of a warrior. You can forge stuff. Use a blueprint to make things with items. You have a chance of making a rare item, or a very low ch chance of making a premium, premium item. Upgrade. Spend resources and gold for a pyroxene slot. Pyroxene slot limits varies ba uh, based on equipment. That's the gems we saw before. Synthesis. Pay gold to fuse two pieces of equipment. Resulting in equipment will inherit all stats from the fused equipment. Stats from one item can be affixed to any of the same type. Interesting. Uh, for using the blacksmith for the first time, you received an item that is crucial to forging weapons. Give me a blueprint and materials, and I'll give you armor. Uh, I'll give armor a soul. Let's try forging. I can make a steel longsword, and probably nothing else. Do I have the- yeah, I don't have the materials for anything else. So I can make a sniper rifle. A large steel shield. That'd give you four defense. Steel longsword is interesting. Yeah, might as well just give it a shot, because we haven't done it before. Oh, check out that animation. Now I've got a longsword for our collection. Uh, blueprints require to ma uh, are required to manufacture equipment can be uh, bought from the field shop by defeating bounty heads. Both methods only occur in travel quests, and the blueprints will differ. Also, resources can be found by searching a resource space. Enhanced items can be exchanged with an item at the capital or bought at the national shop. If you're lacking something, go ahead and collect it. Let's get out of here. There's the, there's the synthesis and upgrading screen. So the steel longsword currently has four more attack than the beginner sword. Also has an extra slot. So if I were to click on you, I could upgrade for 160 gold. Or we could synthesize with the beginner sword. And that costs... Ooh. Would that give me 11... Ew, the result would have 15 attack. So it would just get objectively worse as far as I can tell. Maybe I'm synthesizing it backwards. Beginner sword? Synthesize? Yeah, that would increase the damage to 15. But I don't see any reason to do that. It would make- it would basically make a beginner sword be- have the damage of a long sword. I don't think that our weapons are substantial enough for us to bother with these th yet. We'll get around to it. It's probably- probably not relevant yet. Trading post. A post with a rotating inventory. Items change based on the territory controlled. We'll have to get more territory then. Before you head into battle, take a look at your goods. These are required items for warriors. You can spend royals on resources at the trading post. We're already out of that, though, so we won't be getting much now. Unlike the national shop, trade post is open to all. Royals requirements uh, differ, differ greatly by nation. So a whole bunch of crystals here. Yggdrasil Ivy. It's an Yggdrasil Ivy? Does, does Yggdrasil even have Ivy? The World Tree? I don't know if the World Tree has Ivy on it specifically. Never really heard about it before. They seem to mostly be... A lot of these seem to be, uh, crafting items. Alright. This has been a fun little educational experience. We'll have plenty of reason to revisit this in the future. Oh, hey, we created an item at the blacksmith, so now we can get a reward bonus. So that was worth the trip. Ah! The vial requires you to be level 24. That was an important thing to notice sooner. Oh, well. I have so much room to make mistakes, it's just gonna keep happening, and we're gonna keep learning from them. <laughs> so on the character- on the on the character equipment screen, there's all these little blobs right, be right below the items. Those are actually the pyroxene slots, so you manually select them here, and you're gonna add an item. So for example, I have this power fragment of plus six, that would greatly increase the power of this individual character. And then maybe you want to go over to our spellcaster, and increase his- the, uh, damage of his spells. Although it says magical... It seems to say magical diamond spells and magical blob spells. Okay, that's interesting. I'll want to be careful about what type of spell we're talking about. If that's even what that means. Oh, they have different symbols for different types. So my frost spell I use is governed by that diamond icon. 
but freeze traps governed by this hexagon item. That's important to know. So fro so if I give him the diamond buff, that would equip that would help him right now with his current skill. But the other one is irrelevant at the moment and would be wasted on me. Gotta keep track of that stuff. Okay. Joining a war. In war, you will sign a contract with one of the four great nations and fight for supremacy of the continent. There are two ways to join the fight. You can dispatch and command your troops. Uh, or you can do a detachment where you send out the troops and you wait for a result. If you want to spend some time, try dispatch. But if you're tight on time, try detachment. Select the method that fits your style. An internet connection is required to join war. So I, I think I want to do, go do quests and stuff like that, but I'll, I can send a troop detachment because I have my other troop. In detachment, you send out troops that act automatically. The troop will se uh, you send out will be controlled by an AI and will return with the results after a certain time. There are no downsized detachments. You should send out troops that are standing by and collect experience points and resources. So I'm going to send out my troop 2, which is my Dragon Mage and Valkyrie and Shaman set. Just have them have a sweet time while I go use my my team one to do my own attacks. Let's see. Set member actions. Let's see, set up to four turns worth of actions for your units. Interesting. Generally, units will take action the way you command, but if that's impossible, the AI will decide. So you can tell them where to move, what to target. That is interesting. This, it admittedly feels like kind of, something kind of complicated to deal with. The defend, assist, charge. It's hard to know what these things mean necessarily. Let's see. I'm gonna have this character focus on high hit point enemies and and charge because they do they do heavy damage per attack. So having them attack distant enemies makes sense. I'll, I'll, I'll let the AI figure out what attacks to move to use for now. My Valkyrie will be an advanced guard, I would say. And they should focus on melee units. S just sort of create a barrier for as, as themselves. And the Shaman will focus on far away enemies, or specifically ranged units. There we go. And they can help with the assists. That's probably a good thing to do. We'll see how it pans out. There's so much in this game. <laughs> it's amazing how detailed this game is. I, I feel like I'm going to be like a good 20 or 30 episodes into this before I have a full grasp of just how many systems are involved here. Marching orders. You can set which route the troops will uh, you sent out will take. Pre uh, predict the enemy route and make sure the enemy doesn't reach your front. Interesting. So, ambush will march to an area with few people, break through, march the shortest route to the enemy stronghold, siege out, seize outskirts, march to the fort furthest from your stronghold, charge will march to where your fighting is most intense, defend will march to where the enemy is pressuring you hardest, escort, march to the path as summon guardian beasts. There's so many things. Let's see. Let's have them go for where the fighting is most intense and just have them hopefully get a lot of uh, combat experience, I hope. Combat exercise. Uh, I'm going to let this go. Good luck, guys. We'll see what kind of feedback this gives me about how that troop turned out, and we'll try to learn from that. It'll be interesting. I sent them out because we had a rough time last time, and I'm, so I'm most interested in continuing forward with my my previous group for this episode. All right, let's give this one a go. The, the Valk here, support troop assault. Enemy reinforcements have been sighted heading towards Perry. Stand by and eliminate any enemies that pass by. Defeat all remaining targets. Succeed and don't exceed the uh, specified number of actions. A reward is 75 royals, 630 gold. Could use a decent chunk of gold to help us out with our our character recruitments. I'll probably use troop one. I think I can make this work out. A lot of enemies, huh? All right, we'll give it a go. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're doomed.
Preparations are complete. Our information indicates that the enemy reinforcements will pass through this area soon. You will take the lead as we attack and disrupt the enemy's information. If we're to dis uh, disrupt their formation, we should take out around six troops. Boss, we don't need you to go out of your way to target strong units. Just find the weak ones and take them out. So our goal is more or less to go take on like five fights. I mean six fights. There they are. That's a big old crowd. Wow. Alright. So, defeat uh, defeat all remaining targets is what it actually says, though. But the other screen said six. Uh, target quests are quests where you defeat the targeted enemies. It doesn't matter if you defeat simple enemies or strong simple enemies, but you will be at a disadvantage if you keep on fighting tough enemies. Check which enemies to defeat and fight effectively. Let's see. There's a few enemies scattered all about. Some pretty obvious ones are relatively nearby. Ooh, an armament. There's crystals over here. Maybe I should go for all these chests along the way? I would definitely like to avoid environmental hazards if I can. There's a medic over there, so if I head in that general direction, I'll have access to healing. That would also be useful. Let's perhaps go for that. Howdy, folks! We're here to ambush you in your face hole. Is that... was that inappropriate? Level 4 enemy forces. That guy's got a barrel. Are they gonna throw barrels at me? Are those... Are those poison barrels hanging out behind them? So we're outnumbered at the moment. We're back with our old crew. I'm here to melee you until you stop moving. How does that sound? Does that sound like good time to you? I'm really, I'm really concerned about what the hell those two guys do, the barrel guys. But this guy's going next. So if I get the chance to take them out, that'd be, that'd be ideal. Assist! So I figured out that the little orbs on the top of the screen are how I use my assist. So it costs one of those little orbs in order to use an assist. And it costs two to bring somebody back if grit triggers. But not spending them means I get more health as a recovery at the end. That said... Executing guys probably is more worth it than getting a 3% bonus to healing at the end of the mission because it means that enemy's gone and can't turn around and attack me afterwards. Which is probably worth it. These guys are- these actually- those guys are hardy. Alright. So. Gonna go for an acid throw. Especially since we, uh... This, this is its own separate row so we're probably safe from hitting my teammates. Uh, I am bummed out I couldn't use that item I grabbed. My, my, my bad. Didn't think about level requirements. Whoa. That had lasting ramifications throughout the party. <laughs> well, I think I hurt them more than me, though. So at least there's that. Spellcast is here to make a mess. Frost spell is always nice. Um, I want to take out their cheering character, but I also want to eliminate the other guy before he even gets an action if I can. That'd be ideal. There we go. Figured we had a pretty good chance of just taking him out right now. There goes their leader, and that gives them fewer characters to act with altogether. The, uh, little buffing guy barely even did anything in the first place. Hi. I'm here to end you. Hope you don't mind. Ow. Sorry about the poison. I'll try to make it up to you later or something. I actually genuinely don't know if poison gets cured between fights or not. But hey, that went smoothly. Definitely more smoothly than, than our other party was doing right around now. To be fair, they fought a level 11 party immediately. That was a bad way to start things off. So based on our previous experience, I'm gonna see if I can go into my party, actually. Let's, take out Let's see about editing my skills on Matthew. There's my uppercut. Just gonna go ahead and unequip that. How do I unequip it? That's not how you unequip it. Oh look, I'm in practice mode. I, I did this on accident. Huh. 
So that's how you that's how you can try, kind of try to slow down. You can go. Oh, it's finicky. I'm trying to actually hit him with the next attack. You really have to try to slow down, but if you slow down even slightly more than you want to, you do have to worry about ending your turn. And ending your turn is bad. That said, I'm trying to unequip the skill. There we go, I guess that also s serves that purpose. I'm gonna try just doing normal melee for a while without that extra skill equipped and see if it helps out. Self-heal. Pump yourself up and recover 20% uh, health. That'd be fantastic. It's got limited use, so we'll have to keep that in mind. You got poison mist. Lay mist over an area that, that causes poison. These are some of these new abilities. It doesn't seem to have a trap icon. It's got a per- it does have an orange background, so I don't know if that- I don't know. I don't know. Does the orange background mean that it's the Furious- No, I don't- I think the other trap I saw also had a little head with an exclamation point next to it, so I think that might just be that. We can do Rock Rise. Ground spell attacks multiple times based on action cost. Let's equip that. I'll put, uh, Furious Trap on the next screen. Let's see. Yeah, bonus damage against ranged and leader units. We have so many different attacks here. Uh, bonus damage against ranged units. Also good. By 50%. I'll keep that combo going. Why not? Anything new here? Just hide it and guard. Hides for three turns, making the unit disappear. Could be useful. Just have to be careful how I want to use it. And determine whether or not it's worth disappearing for a whole turn. I suppose if the enemy's too far away, I could hide and make my approach, probably. That'd probably help out. Take a look around. There's an armament. We'd rather not have them around. Or is that armament on our team? I assume it's an enemy. But the game it does not exactly a text description, but I assume that red is bad. But the squares are blue, which seems to seem that which usually means good. I could be wrong. Hey friend. You'll be my you'll be my second fight. Level fours again? Oh wow. That is an incredibly strange party. Three guys with barrels and two guys with bows. I think I stopped all the barrel guys from getting turns last time, so I don't think I actually got to learn what they do. Let's see if I can keep that going. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a combo of landing hits. Might have not been worth it, not entirely sure. But we'll see. Can I attack that guy from here? Nope, if I hit down, I'll attack my teammate instead. And I can't get past all of these barrel guys. Which is a little unfortunate. Uh, we'll think we'll just have to accept it, more or less. Let's go beat somebody down. Bonus damage! Got you with a crit. Oh, here's the assist. Fantastic. That's one down. Next, and now, now we have a ranged attack incoming. Gonna want to find just the right people to target with this thrown attack. Uh, probably the bottom row. Given all things, all things considered, probably best to attack two characters like that. I think I'm in the right position for this to go over my teammate's head. Please. There we go. That worked out. Not quite the big explosion you kind of feel like it's gonna be though, is it? Still, I can follow up on that. Let's get a little closer first. Yeah. Make it count. Oh, oh kind of wasted some of that. We made contact though. They're leaderless. He's hurt. I'm, this is going to hurt me on the inside. Ah, not too bad. Ow. I'd say that one probably hurt more. Oh. Yep, they throw exploding barrels, so that's exactly what's going on there. Well, now my rogue can probably attack their... My rogue can probably reach their archers now for bonus damage. Speaking of which... Oh, went too far. I'm trying to go for a flank. Went too far again. 
keep going too far. There we go. Yaha! Back attack! Combo! Can probably sneak up behind. Nope, not quite. Still, I do bonus damage against ranged units. Oh, yeah. Gonna want to heal her as fast as possible, though. Speaking of which... Not quite. Wow, 80% health. That's no minor amount. It's too bad it's gonna make them turn around. You, I like you! I like you. Alright, the party's feeling relatively healthy. What about Rock Rise? Attack with Earth multiple times based on action and cost. Interesting. Um, could be fun to experiment with. I kind of want to see what it looks like. That's probably a good spot. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. It is one of the, the ones where you target over and over again. Strong attack. Ow. She's having a bad day. Honestly. But so will you. Gotcha. Feel better, everyone. Just a little bit. Even when it's small, the heal is definitely welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 